Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and weekly download episode number 49, which is my weekly tech and PC gaming news series. Today, I'm going to be playing some Paladins when I give you this news, and I'm going to be sipping on a Coke Cherry Zero. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. First, Intel's newest Skylake X and KB Lake X processors are now available for pre-order, and sites like Newegg say they will be available on June 27th. Right now, Intel is releasing two semi-budget KB Lake X CPUs and the 7640X and 7740X, which are four core, four thread, and four core, eight thread, as well as three getting pretty expensive Skylake X CPUs, which range from six core, 12 thread to 10 core, 20 thread. Intel has created some much heated controversy though as only the $1,000 Core i9-7900X has 44 PCIe lanes, which doesn't even compare to AMD's Threadripper CPUs all having 60. Intel will also be releasing some much bigger and expensive CPUs in the Core i9 lineup around August timeframe. And in more PC building news, Nvidia GPUs are also increasing in price now, most likely due to cryptocurrency miners. Our I already reported in a previous weekly download about how the RX 570 and 580s were virtually sold out across the globe because of cryptocurrency mining, and that caused their prices to jack up. Well now a few weeks later, this has affected the Nvidia side of things because miners are realizing that they mine almost as efficiently as AMD cards, so they are buying them up as well. Although this is a good short term period of time for AMD and Nvidia, this isn't good at all for the PC gaming scene as there are a ton of people trying to build their systems and get into PC gaming, but they can't because prices are too high and availability is scarce. I would really like to see AMD and Nvidia develop some counteraction to this by either increasing their production or developing cards specifically for mining, and quickly. Next up, CRTC, which is Canada's wireless regulator, has ruled that every phone sold in Canada after December 1st must come unlocked and that wireless carrier companies cannot charge to unlock cell phones anymore. According to the CBC, Canadian carriers made over 37 million Canadian dollars in 2016 alone by charging customers 50 bucks to unlock their phones. This new law allows consumers to switch carriers with their current device as they please now, and this is pretty awesome. A major part of the ruling was because cell phone carriers are the people that actually lock phones to their service, so it's ridiculous for them to charge people to unlock it back to stock. I would really, really like if the United States followed suit on this one. Amazon was busy this week by announcing their purchase of Whole Foods, which totaled to be a $13.7 billion deal. Amazon has been stating for years that they want to have a significant impact in the grocery industry, and this purchase is definitely a step in the right direction. This purchase includes 431 Whole Foods locations, which by the way are usually in upper income locations, and includes a massive transportation and distribution infrastructure that Amazon will clearly benefit from. I'm excited to see where they take this from here as I feel like I'm the perfect fan of this deal. I like to eat healthy although there is no Whole Foods within 30 minutes of me plus I shop on Amazon every single week. And to wrap up the tech news, a report from USA Today stated that drones have been caught in over a dozen cases now transporting drugs and pornographic material into prisons. Yeah, apparently drug dealers have been dropping in weed and other drugs into prisons, and most of them have obviously been getting caught. This is actually becoming so popular that the UK announced a new squad completely dedicated to handling this issue, and in one case the smuggler revealed that they were making $6,000 per flight, which is insane. Please don't get any ideas from this, it was just too good not to share. So this week we have to start off PC gaming news with some pretty upsetting and controversial news, and that's all this crap surrounding the Grand Theft Auto 5 modding scene. I'm sure you've seen it by now because it's all over the internet, but if you haven't, I'll give you a short recap. Take Two sent a cease and desist order to the developers of OpenIV, which is an essential modding tool for modding the game. Rockstar and Take Two want the online modding to stop because let's be honest, they don't want people hacking and modding online lobbies because they want to keep the playing field even and for people to buy their stupid shark cards. However, by canceling OpenIV, which at the time of writing this, OpenIV 
is unable for download for anybody. You aren't allowing any single player modding to happen as well, which is a huge deal. I've personally definitely dabbed into single player modding in GTA 5, and it's about as much fun as you can get in PC gaming. This has gamers absolutely outraged whether they should be or not, and the way they responded was hammering the Steam reviews. Literally thousands of people changed their reviews to negative, and the GTA 5 review score as of right now is overwhelmingly negative for the recent reviews and down to mixed for the overall reviews. I'll keep you guys updated on this, especially on Twitter at ZaxTechTurf if I hear anything, but I know we are all anxiously awaiting some good news to come out of this at some point. Alright, so to bounce back from that news, I got a free game for you guys. Medal of Honor Pacific Assault is now free to pick up on Origin as they're on the house special this month. All you have to do is download Origin and add it to your account from the store page and it'll be yours forever. Pretty cool stuff. Next up, Blizzard posted yet another job listing indicating that they are definitely cooking up a Diablo 2 remaster project. PC Games N spotted the job listing, and I'm not going to read it word for word, but signs are definitely looking good for those of you that have spent the last 10 years looking for a worthy Diablo 2 clone and have been coming up empty. And finally, to wrap up the PC gaming news, a pretty solid leak has indicated that a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered standalone version is coming on June 27th, at least for PS4. As you guys know, Modern Warfare Remastered is only available if you purchase Infinite Warfare, which a lot of people were unhappy with. I would personally love to see the standalone copy come out because it'll bring some much needed players to the game on PC as it's pretty hard finding matches right now and it's extremely frustrating because Modern Warfare was one of my favorite games as a kid. The leak came from an apparent retailer who snapped a picture of the PS4 version and it looks pretty legit. As we know Call of Duty has a super annoying deal with Sony so we aren't quite sure if it will only be featured on PS4 for a while and then to Xbox and PC so we shall wait and see. Well, that wraps up weekly download episode number 49. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what your favorite tech or PC gaming news was this week or if I missed anything. We'll hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.